every single one of us has an idea of what beauty is. My job is to listen to you, figure out if your idea of beauty is something that I can realize, and if that's what you want, I need to modify my vision of beauty to fit your vision of beauty. If there's one procedure offered at Osprey Facial Plastics that just sets us apart from every other plastic surgery practice out there is rhinoplasty. There's a lot of people that come in and say, hey, I don't like the shape of my nose, or I don't like the way that my nose looks. What does that really mean? The nose is one of the most uh, visible objects on the face. And once it's in proportion to not just the face, but the body and the entire body image, it just melts into the background and no one ever notices it. Every single person out there has a certain attachment to their nose. Oh, that was my dad's nose. My dad's Italian and this is my Italian nose. Whatever that adjective may be, there is some defining characteristic that basically every individual has that defines their nose. And when we provide a consultation, it's trying to take every single one of those little nuances into account to find something that is so harmonious with that patient's face. There's several different kinds of rhinoplasty and we try to categorize them in two large categories. Primary rhinoplasty, which means you've never had surgery before, and then there's revision rhinoplasty, meaning that there has been some surgery before and there needs to be some amount of reconstruction or revision work that needs to be done. I've had a total of six surgeries on my nose. When I went to five or six other different doctors, I had a lot of them say, I can't touch this. It's, you know, I'm not comfortable. I don't have the expertise to do it. Revision rhinoplasty is probably by far the toughest procedure out there. Finally, two other doctors also said, we know one person that can fix this. If anybody can, there's one person that can help you, and Dr. Athery. I trained with one of the forefathers of modern rhinoplasty here in the United States. So the number of cases that I did in training just kind of truly set me apart in terms of the way I think about rhinoplasty and how that rhinoplasty patient should be treated. He had such enthusiasm, he was like, I'm not scared of this. He goes, I, I can fix this. In my opinion, if he can't fix it, no one can. Tell my patients what I truly want from them is for them to be able to walk into the mall after surgery and someone should say that hasn't seen them in a while, is there something you did different with your hair? Did you change your makeup? What is it that you did? You just look good. I don't want them to say, oh, you got a nose job. And that is the goal of surgery. And that I think is the overall goal of rhinoplasty is when you can achieve that result that is so natural that someone just can't tell that it's not the nose that you were born with.